This story comes alive with AI-generated images, creating stunning visuals in every video. Let's begin. It was a grand day in New York, a day for celebration. The Corleone family estate was buzzing with life, as Don Vito Corleone, the powerful and respected head of the Corleone crime family, was hosting a lavish wedding for his beloved daughter, Connie. Guests from all over filled the grounds, but inside the dark office of the family mansion, Don Vito sat calmly, accepting visitors who had come to seek favors on this day favors. They knew the Don would not refuse. Among the guests was Michael Corleone, the youngest son of Don Vito, who arrived with his girlfriend, Kay Adams. Michael was different from his brothers. A war hero who had distanced himself from the family business, he assured Kay that he was not like the others, he was his own man, away from the dangerous world of crime his father had built. But fate had other plans. Not long after the wedding, trouble arrived at the Corleone doorstep. A man named Salazzo, a notorious narcotics dealer, approached Don Vito with a bold proposal. Salazzo wanted the Corleone family's help in expanding his drug empire. With the family's political connections and protection, the deal would be unstoppable. But Don Vito, a man of old-fashioned principles, refused. Drugs, he believed, would only bring ruin and disgrace. Salazzo didn't take rejection lightly. Soon after, Don Vito was ambushed in the street, bullets tearing through his body. Miraculously, he survived, but the attempt on his life plunged the family into chaos. Sonny, the hot-headed eldest son, was ready for war, but Michael, the quiet one, began to stir. The assassination attempt woke something deep within him, a sense of duty to his family. While his father lay bedridden, Michael's transformation began. He visited the hospital late one night, only to discover his father's guards had mysteriously disappeared. Realizing another attempt on Don Vito's life was imminent, Michael took swift action, standing watch over his father himself. It was then, in the shadows of the hospital, that Michael's path became clear. He could no longer stand by as an outsider. Salazzo and a corrupt police captain named McCluskey, who had already threatened Michael, arranged a meeting to negotiate peace. But Michael had other plans. Calm and collected, he met with them in a small, dimly lit Italian restaurant. In the middle of their conversation, Michael excused himself to the bathroom, retrieved a hidden gun, and returned to the table. Without hesitation, he shot both Salazzo and McCluskey dead, escaping into the night. Michael, the quiet son who once vowed to stay out of the family business, had now crossed a line that could never be uncrossed. To avoid the law, Michael fled to Sicily, where he sought refuge in the rugged countryside. There he found peace for a time and even fell in love with a beautiful Sicilian woman named Apollonia. They were married in a traditional ceremony, and for a moment, it seemed like Michael could leave behind the violence and bloodshed of his past. But the shadows of the Corleone legacy followed him. One fateful day, Apollonia was killed in a car explosion meant for Michael. The peaceful life he had dreamed of crumbled in an instant, and Michael's heart hardened. Back in New York, more blood was spilled. Sonny, Michael's brash older brother, was brutally gunned down in a trap set by their rivals. The loss of his eldest son shattered Don Vito, who had since recovered from his injuries. Worn and weary, the aging Don made peace with the other Mafia families, knowing the future of the Corleones now rested on Michael's shoulders. Michael returned to America a changed man. He married Kay, but he was no longer the man she once knew. The warmth in his eyes had been replaced by something cold, something unyielding. With his father's blessing, Michael took control of the family business, and as Don Vito quietly passed away in his garden, Michael prepared to do what had to be done. A new era of the Corleone family began under Michael's rule. At his nephew's baptism, Michael stood as the godfather, solemnly swearing to protect the child. But beneath the peaceful facade of the ceremony, a storm was brewing. In a stunning and ruthless move, 
Michael orchestrated the murders of all his rivals, the heads of the other families, the men who had betrayed and threatened the Corleones. As the church organ played, men across the city fell to gunfire, and in that moment, Michael Corleone solidified his power. But the cost of power is steep. Connie, his sister, stormed into his office, accusing him of orchestrating her husband's death. Michael, calm as ever, denied it. Yet, when Kay, his wife, asked if it was true, Michael turned to her with a firm gaze and lied. And as she watched from the doorway, the family's men gathered around Michael, pledging their loyalty to the new godfather. The door slowly closed on Kay, shutting her out of Michael's world, sealing his fate as the new, untouchable Don of the Corleone family. Michael had become what he once feared the head of the most powerful Mafia family in America, a man feared and respected, but forever changed by the world of violence and betrayal. The boy who once swore never to be like his father had become the most dangerous Corleone of all, 